Everybody, Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Saturday, May 25th. A bit of a cloudy sky, no rain in the forecast. Temperatures into the mid 70s today. We should have a fast racetrack. Let's take a look at races five and six today. The fifth race, seven furlongs. Acclaiming event, 7,500 on winners of three. I uh, like number five, Silver Assault today. Coming out for trainer Marcus Zaletta, who has uh, claimed the horse last time out for 12.5 and will be dropping the horse. Uh, off that $12,500 claim. Now, that most recent start had a very wide trip as a favorite at that 12.5 level and really didn't factor at the end. But prior to that, had a bunch of solid efforts against Better Company, a tough starter race for $25,000 the start prior to that and finished a very good third, then was in the 25 non winners of three before that and finished just a neck behind a horse named Chill Factor. If you go back to February, ran a good second at the 12.5 non winners of three. So the horse has been very competitive against better company in the recent past and is coming into a new barn today. Marcus's barn has been heating up a late. Angel Rodriguez, one of her top riders, will be aboard. Seven furlongs in that fifth race. Let's give it a go with number five, Silver Assault. Now race number six today. It's another claiming race. They'll go six furlongs. Horses in for a tag of $20,000. The program likes number four, Magnifier, for trader George Navarro. And number six, two, Putt, who's also coming in for trader Claudio Gonzalez, high percentage guy from Maryland. Certainly you can make a case for both of those horses. But instead, I'm going to take a shot here with our leading trader, who saddles number three, chasing my halo. Joe Taylor continues to sit atop the trader standings. And again, I'm going to go with jockey Angel Rodriguez here. Now, chasing my halo will be also, uh, as I picked in the last horse that will, uh, last race, a horse that was dropping back in class. I'm going to do it again here today with chasing my halo. Was at a very tough second level state bread allowance last time out and uh, was uh, up close to the uh, early leaders and then had to take up sharply and fell toward the back of the pack and is again taking a step back in class in and again in the recent past has been competitive and also has won against better company. Two starts back in the 25,000 optional claiming level finished a good third behind a horse named Cowboy MZ who ran huge that day. And then uh, Midnight Charlie, who after that game uh, came out of that race and then went on to win the Lyman Handicap a couple of weeks later. To go back another start was a winner in an A other than for trader Joe Taylor here. And I think this looks like an excellent spot. There's, uh, again, going to get some money on some other horses. Actually, is the fourth horse in the morning line at 5-1. to one. But I think he has an excellent chance on the drop back in class today again for a leading trader race number six. Let's make it go with number three, Chasing My Halo. Good luck.